In this video, we're going to discuss ordering costs. So ordering costs are any costs that have to do with the purchase of inventory from one of your company's suppliers. Let's start with the basics. First of all, you have to actually find a supplier. Now, if you've been in business 30, 40 years and you already have a list of suppliers and you know who you buy inventory from, that's not really a problem. But if you are a new business or perhaps your old supplier went out of business, they went bankrupt, or maybe they're charging a really high price and you want to look for a new supplier, it takes time to actually go and locate a supplier that you want to buy from, right? You might even have your, if you're a large company and you're going to buy a lot of inventory from this place, you might even fly out to the supplier if they're in another country and inspect and make sure that the quality of the inventory they're going to be giving you is, is acceptable and so forth. So it's it's not it's not free it's time consuming and may cost money in terms of airfare and so forth to, to locate an acceptable supplier now once you have the supplier there would be some time bargaining about the price and and so forth uh, in some cases the price of what you're buying would just be set and everybody just gets that price but in some uh, cases there's some room to negotiate now once you've decided to actually make the purchase order then there's time involved in preparing a purchase order. Now in the old days, it was done with paper and pencil. Now a lot of it is done online. And so that may, has brought down the cost of ordering. Ordering costs have actually gone down a lot. Uh, and so it's not as time consuming in terms of all the paperwork that's involved with doing purchase orders. But companies do want to track. They don't just let their employees say, yeah, just spend money on whatever. There, there's a process for keeping track of the inventory that's being purchased to prevent fraud and so forth and everything. So there's going to be a trail, even if it's not on paper and online, there's going to be a process for, for making purchases. Okay. So once you've made the purchase order from you've got the supplier you've made a purchase order once you receive the inventory you actually have to have somebody inspect it for example if you are a restaurant and you're receiving some vegetables and so you've got your restaurant if somebody goes to the back of the restaurant and they've got a vehicle out there and they've got some some vegetables that are being unloaded into the restaurant before all these are unloaded you want to make sure that hey this is high quality vegetables that it's not all spoiled or something because the time to say something is is right now so somebody has like the manager would actually have to go to the back of the store and actually spend time inspecting the inventory so that's a cost too just because it's not something that would show up in an income statement isn't doesn't mean it's not a real cost anything that takes somebody's time was that manager could have been doing something else and then even so so let's say we've got this inventory and that it's all fine there's no problems with it it's high quality now our accounts payable department has to go and process the payment to the supplier so there might be some paperwork involved with that and so there, really a lot of the costs involve time and again as I said ordering costs have come down because a lot of this is now can be done online and we can automate these processes and also there are these things called procurement cards which sometimes people just call them P cards which will just allow a manager is basically like a credit card uh, through that the company has and the, the purchasing manager could use this uh, to buy inventory without having to do all the different you know paperwork and time consuming things but even with these advances and even with the ordering costs coming down over time they are still a significant cost of inventory